Welcome to New York Times. Please subscribe for more recent breaking news updates. Nancy Pelosi can't say enough bad things about the Trumps, but look where her son was spotted. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, DCA, spends her days going back and forth between mocking President Trump and having aphasia episodes where she slurs her speech, talks nonsense, and forgets what she is saying. Today, she inappropriately went after the president and said that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is likely having a giggle fit right now over President Trump's letter calling off their planned summit in Singapore next month. It's not exactly comforting to know that an adult elder Democratic stateswoman finds the prospect of nuclear war funny. Kim got global recognition and regard, Pelosi went on. He's the big winner. When he got this letter from the president saying OK, never mind. He must be having a giggle fit right there now in North Korea. Pelosi said that it was clear Trump didn't know what he was getting into in the negotiations with Pyongyang and mocked the language used in his very chummy, pausy wowsy letter. While Pelosi is bad mouthing President Trump, who has virtually kept all of his campaign promises, you should see who her son was spotted with over New Year's. It says volumes about the duplicity of someone like Nancy Pelosi. Her son, Paul Pelosi Jr., spent New Year's Eve at the president's Mar-a-Lago estate in Palm Beach, Florida. He actually shared a couple of photos of himself with Ivanka Trump on Instagram. It looked like a fantastic party and even Pelosi's son looked like he was having the time of his life. While his mother is out there smiling in front of the president and then disparaging him behind his back, it would appear that her son is just fine hanging out with the Trump clan at Mar-a-Lago. Funny, huh? The president, his family and members of his cabinet all attended the swanky New Year's Eve party at the Palm Beach property. Since Pelosi's son was invited it appears that he is a friend of the family. I'll bet you anything that Nancy sees herself as one too. I highly doubt that President Trump views her that way though. Paul Pelosi Jr.'s older sister, Christine, said she's not surprised by her brother's appearance at the Mar-a-Lago party. He is just an adventuring guy, she said. Maybe he had a golf game. Or maybe he enjoys the company of Ivka and the rest of the family. I don't know whether Pelosi's son is a member or a guest. It either cost him $600 or $750 just to get in and there wasn't a golf ball in sight. It appears that when a good party is afoot, liberal Democrats are as sweet as pie and want to hobnob with the popular kids. But when they get in front of the cameras, their politics turn accusatory. Pelosi is certainly not alone in going after the president today over doing the right thing with North Korea. Rep. Jerry Connolly, DVA, tweeted that the Nobel Peace Prize some speculated Trump could receive for helping denuclearize the Korean Peninsula will have to wait. I might remind him that President Trump said he did not seek that prize. He was trying to negotiate true peace, but he will never do so if it hurts the U.S. Sen. Bob Menendez, DNJ tweeted that the art of diplomacy is a lot harder than the art of the deal, adding he was amazed that the administration was surprised at North Korea's behavior. They weren't, Bob. President Trump announced earlier this week that he thought the meeting would not happen. Perhaps you were on a golf course somewhere yourself. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more top breaking news updates. Thank you.